are made by the children. They're all original designs, which we put on Christmas cards, and then the proceeds go to our scholarship funds. This way, ladies. This is our observation window for clinical study. All right, we can see him, but he can't see us. The advantages of one-way mirrors are obvious. <laughs> What is he doing? Fantasizing. That youngster can read the New York Times cover to cover, but he has great difficulty in communicating with others. Lives in his own little world. They're just finishing circle now. Finishing what? Circle. We start each school day this way. We form a circle, and we all sing to each child. Single him out, make him feel special. Then we gallop and skate for motor development. Excuse me. This is their chairman, Miss McCracken. Mrs. Would you show them inside, please? This way. You're not going back in there. Yes. What for? Get some information, pamphlets. We'll wait for you. No, no, no. Uh, I'll catch a cab home. I don't believe that. a child when there are stunk in the toilet don't even flush. Yeah, what do you want? I'm yeah, I know who you are. I see you upstairs. I came back to apologize. Yeah? I shouldn't have played with the boy. Played? I blinked my eyes at him. I think that's what frightened him. Yeah? He bit me. I was told not to, but... But you did. I'm sorry. No fear. Do not be afraid of the volunteer. Here. You like to plunge? Go. Plunge. So? What are you waiting for? I mean, here we don't need volunteers. Here we need plumbers. I... God and him will give me patience. It is not enough I must teach these children all day with leftover equipment and promises. But now they sent me volunteers to do for the children what they should do for themselves. But good, Shadowskill. 
You are a good plunger. And you are a pain in the behind. Oh, go, volunteer. Take your good work somewhere else. You are a very good plunger. Now, when it is fixed, in here. You understand? Not in the pants. In here. Yeah? Yeah. Five toilets repaired in one day. I'll explain in the car. You sure you want to do this? She's got to be told. Oh, I don't mean about telling her. You sure you want to do this? Yes. You can't separate after all these years without knowing why. Look, it's only a trial separation, really. I'm moving to the city, apartment, hotel, brisk walk to the office. Your mother will stay at the house. We've tried, darling. The past few weeks have been very difficult for both of us. We've agreed not to see each other till Christmas when we come home. Perhaps by then your mother will be able to think things out. Do you want it? No. Are you all right? No, damn it. Experience? None. Education? I have a master's in sociology I've never used. Why didn't you volunteer when you were here last? I felt I hadn't made the most auspicious debut. But you came back. I couldn't get this place out of my mind. We need teachers' aides badly. We like to get them from groups such as yours. Uh, quite honestly, our more affluent volunteers bring in much needed funds. This is a private, non-profit school. It functions exclusively through the generosity of its donors. I understand. No, you don't. Our physician comes once a week. He's a gynecology intern at a local hospital. He doubles as our psychiatrist. He hates this place, but not as much as our nurse. Now, she's a practical. She gets here when she can. We can't get better because we can't afford better. At the moment, I'm trying to prove to the state that we deserve their sponsorship. Should they agree, please, God, We'll be in a position to do much more for these children. Meanwhile, somehow, we do it with what we have. Can you tell me about the children? Well, their intelligence is average or above, but they function far below their age level. They have great difficulties with language. Their behavior is often bizarre, puzzling. What's the matter with them? Autistic, schizophrenic, brain damage, emotionally disturbed. They're just labels, really. Some blame heredity, yet they have normal brothers and sisters. Others blame environment. There's a general lack of agreement. Very few of them are ever cured in the true sense of the word. Still, we manage to send a good amount back to their homes, their schools. They're able to live within their communities. It's the most we can hope for. Still interested? Yes. Oh, yes. Good. We'll put you in with Helga.
You want to win the race? Yeah. Tell me. Tell me you want to win the race. You will talk yet, son of Kint. You won't talk for Helga yet, I promise you. Now, see if you can draw the lines without touching the poles. Go. Prize, yeah? That is a good prize. But we want first. First prize, yeah? Now, then you go. Yeah? You are lost? No, I... Uh... Yeah, you sent the plumber. Good. Now you are disturbing the children. The director sent me here. To you. What? What for? I'm your new teacher's aide. Volunteer. God, God, God. How much times do I have to tell her that I do not want any lousy volunteers? I have enough to do with these children. Go now. Tell her to assign you to somebody else. What do I do first? <laughs> you are disturbing the children. No, you are. You will please to sharpen the pencils. Johnson, this is Mary McCracken, a volunteer aide. She'll take Sarah upstairs to meet Helga, her teacher. She has all the information on the child. Her baby food's in here. She won't eat anything but baby food. Don't even try. Just baby food. That's all she'll eat. She can't walk or stand. She can crawl all right, though. Matter of fact, she crawls all over the place. You don't watch her. You gotta watch her. Just leave her blanket on the floor. She screams without the blanket. Sure? She screams. How old is Sarah? She's eight. Eight? Johnson. Where's her mother? She ran. Yeah. This is Sarah, children. Your new classmate. She is pretty, yes? Yeah? Hey. Come. Come, Kleiner, come. It is all right. Everything will be all right. I know you now, and you are smart. Her mother said You that. cannot fool Helga, little one. You are smart, and you can walk. You see? See, my pretty little one? You see your blanket? <coughs> I 
am sorry, dear sweet child, but when you want the blanket, you will stand and open the door, and then you will walk. If you want the blanket, you better not. You will get it yourself. Yeah, all by yourself. Don't touch her. Closing your eyes will not shield you from the noise. Hold on, dear. I do not tell you about the surprise. You know what we have for lunch today? Beans. Yeah, beans. So let us hear a big cheer for beans. Good. And now we must eat everything else up with the beans. Come, children, for you, darling. You like beans, you eat it up, baby. Big, strong girl. So you eat your beans like good boy. Yes, a good boy. Come, darling. Come and play in the sun. Come on, my sweetheart. Come on. to participate more. Yeah. I've done nothing but sharpen pencils. For the children. You come here for them, no? I want to work with the children. Yeah? You are an expert already, volunteer? I am not an expert, and my name is Mary. Yeah? Yeah! Today's surprise, chocolate pudding. Well, let's hear a big cheer for the chocolate pudding. Yeah. Mary, please. Shalimar chocolate pudding. I hesitate to mention the other ingredients. <laughs> well, whatever turns you on. 
Very funny. Mary. I have a great antidote for Shalimar and chocolate pudding. Uh-huh. <laughs> Larry says I'm the cheapest drunk in town. Larry. With my husband. Married, widowed, or divorced? Separated. Mm. Children? Daughter. One. Elizabeth. Liz. Is she with you? No. Not right now. Is she the price you paid for freedom? I hope not. God, I hope not. You married? Never. Was or will be. I've seen too many marriages. It's sort of like taking a long trip. It begins with vitality, ends with fatigue. I'll do my social work at the school. Mm, I wish I could. I'm still on crayons and pencils. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? You'll find out if you stick around long enough. You think I'm gonna quit? I think you've been thinking about it. Talk me out of it, huh? Sorry. I didn't talk you into it. She's a witch. She's also the greatest most natural, therapeutic genius of a teacher I have ever seen. I felt it the minute I saw her. That's why I wanted to be in her class. That child I provoked, yeah. in 10 seconds, I felt the loving that had displaced the terror. Who's? <laughs> I like you. Well, right back at you. You will all form a line, a nice, beautiful line. You are late to volunteer. We've already had a circle, and the little one is feverish. What's the matter with her? Am I a doctor? You will stay with her, yeah? Come, children. I will see if the nurse will get you early. If not, we send her home. Come, children. Come, dear sweet children. Let's go and see what Dan is doing. Good morning, Dan. Sarah? Sarah, don't scream, dear. Don't scream, dear. What do you want, your blanket? I'll get you your blanket. I can't give you the blanket, Sarah. Set her back by months. Months. What for did you give us a blanket? Look at her face, you can see. Why did you not her. grab her hand? Stop her. Play with a yell at her, but not to give us a blanket. I Why did you not call for me? I mean, I what do you think this is, volunteer? This is not a hospital where you wheel around a library cart until the patients get well and go home. How about these children? Do not go home. They go to an institution with a smell of clock added to their urine. I couldn't stop her any other way. Oh, yeah, I know this. Because you are afraid of her. You are afraid of all of them. And they know this. Don't you think they know this? Don't you think they feel this? Volunteer. Lousy volunteer. You come in here because you have shot the stores clean and played so much tennis that your brains are more sunburned than the rest of you. Volunteer. Two days a week. Two days a week with these children so that they can solve your problems instead of you solving theirs. Oh, go home. Take your problems somewhere else. Not here, you understand? Not here. Dankeschön. It is all right, mein Kind. Mein schönes Kind. We will start again, yeah? Ja? 
all over again. We will stop. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Hey. No, no. My name is Mary. I see yours is Brian. Brian O'Connell? Why don't you come with me, Brian? His parents must have left him outside. He stayed there until I found him. This is where I hang my coat, Brian. And uh, this is where you hang yours, okay? I don't know you Brian. Can't you unbutton your jacket? I don't well, you're a big boy, Brian. I'm sure you can undo your jacket. Oh! Oh, so you're a kicker, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ben, you know how to eat. Now do it right. Cool it, Brian. Cool it. I said cool it now. Oh, relax, Brian. Can you read? Why don't you read your book? Do you want me to read with you? All right, fine. You don't have to read if you don't want to. I'll stay here. I'll read by myself. Richard, and the mother's name was Jean. Their son was called Brian. I don't believe it. Here's your name, Brian, right here, right in the book. Brian. You feel that? Very slow. Very gentle. Yes. Yes. It doesn't make any sense. He did the jigsaw puzzle with such ease. Motivation. See his eyes? They're just like ours, huh? He can read, he wants to read, but he won't. Helga says he's probably afraid I'll make him read aloud. I think that's probably it. I mean, if, if he knew how to speak normally, maybe he'd try other things. Or vice versa. Excuse me, Tom. See, his mouth is different from ours. It's called a bill. You want to touch it, Jenny? Yes. <laughs> okay, now everybody, stroke him gently. Very gently, okay? You'd think they'd never seen one. Probably haven't. A duck? Or a pond, or a park, even. Most of them are attic children. Attic? Mm -hmm. Prisoners of a sort. I don't mean they're literally held there, but their parents uh, won't take them anywhere, show them anything. Uh, they're ashamed to be seen with them. They're kept out of sight, touch. Feel his neck and shoulders, hmm? Duck has shoulders, doesn't it? Uh, was it something I said? Yes. Is he sick again? No. I just thought I'd like to talk to you, so I brought him home myself. Vacation centers of the world for an anniversary dinner that you will not soon forget. You're going to spend your anniversary in Venice. <laughs> When he comes home, we just let him be. He likes to watch television. We let him watch. That's what he likes best. 
just to sit and jabber at the TV set. Well, you have a great trip. Don't go over 21 now, because you'll lose it. Just, just to let him be. Is a king. All right, Jim. Has he ever spoken normally? I don't never spoke at all until a year ago. He didn't speak until he was seven. That's right. One day he was just sitting in front of the TV set and he started jabbering away. That's how it came out. Has he ever been to a speech therapist? Lady, he's been to so many doctors that I don't even remember which was which. You know what they said? They said he's impossible to evaluate. That's what he said. So if they don't know, what do you want from me? I'm only trying to help. I know. Well, the best thing to do is just let it be. Mrs. O'Connell, do you know what will happen to Brian if we can't help him? Yes. If it were up to me, I would have put him away before. But his father says no. Well, he's not home with the rest of them when Brian gets here. And three other kids. Good ones. Normal ones. I'm tired, miss. He's sick most of the time, or angry, or... My husband and I don't sleep much. We don't do much of anything together since he was born. I'd like to help him, but I can't. I'd like to love him, but I can't. Brian, old buddy, change of tactics. Now, I'm going to explain something to you. You know how I'm always saying to you ever since you got here, you know how to do that? You know how to eat? Things like that, right? Well, I don't think you do know how. Because nobody's taught you. And I'm sure you're very anxious to learn. So, step numero uno, learning to eat. Sit. First off, better tell you. They're plastic and won't break. So there's not much fun watching them bounce back at you, is there? Ready, set. God have mercy on our souls. This is a spoon. This is another spoon. Now, watch me. Follow the motion. Can you do that? Can you do it with these nuts? And want a karate chop? With the spoon. And no funny stuff. I'm bigger than you, remember? God, you don't know how, do you? Brian. Hold the spoon like this. Put your thumb there, your fingers there. Now try. Scoop them up. How's that taste, pal? Go on.
guess I can't fool you, Brian, can I? That's the first page of the story of the book we were reading, remember? Once there was a family named Porter, the father was called Richard, the mother's name was Jean, and the son's name was Brian. Just like you. Brian. Can you say your name? Brian. 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 Can you say B for Brian? B. Brian. Can you speak into the microphone, Brian? You want Helga to speak into the microphone? Good evening, alle schönen Kinder. This is Helga, who loves you, speaking from our dear school. Now play it back. Good evening, alle schönen Kinder. This is Helga, who loves you, speaking from our dear school. Now play it back. You see, Brian? You see how it records Helga's voice? Can you speak into the microphone? Speak. Maybe the Shannon Kinder would like, yeah? Who cares to speak into a microphone? Me, me, huh? me, huh? me, me. What do you mean, speak into a microphone? You're about to hear one of the great two-a-day artists add to his list of golden hits. Give me that microphone, lady. A uh, little diggy diggy doo music. All right, no, no, no applause, please. It's an old building. Uh, remember, lady, I do a single. You're here to accompany me, not uh, drown me out, right? Mm -mm -mm. Ready, maestro? Go. Zulu man is feeling blue. Hear his heartbeat, little tattoo. Diggy diggy doo, diggy doo doo. Diggy diggy doo, diggy doo. You love me and I love you, and when you love, it is natural too. Diggy diggy doo, diggy doo doo. Diggy diggy doo, diggy doo. I'm so very diggy diggy doo by nature. If you don't say diggy diggy doo, you'll make your gun lose a papa. So let those funny people smile. How can there be a virgin eye with diggy diggy doo diggy doo doo diggy diggy doo diggy doo? Okay, once more, everybody, ready? Diggy diggy doo diggy 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 doo diggy diggy doo diggy doo diggy diggy doo diggy doo doo diggy diggy doo diggy doo doo. Very nice. Diggy diggy doo diggy 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 doo diggy diggy doo diggy 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 doo diggy diggy doo diggy doo doo diggy diggy doo diggy doo doo diggy diggy doo diggy doo doo. Dig 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 do dig do do can't hear you dig dig do do dig do 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 dig dig do do dig dig do dig 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 do dig dig do dig do do dig dig do dig do dig dig do dig 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 do dig do do your voice. You want to do it alone? <laughs> you like it, huh? Your ham bone? Okay. Go. Anything. Say anything at all. How'd you like to repeat that for the West Coast? <laughs>
I've seen enough of these kids to know that in nine out of ten cases, it is a language problem. It's not a speech problem. When it becomes a secure, happy child, it'll cure itself. Yeah? Are you this? Gynecology, man? The kid has been diagnosed by the best in the country. They don't know what's wrong with him. Now, how am I... How... We've reduced his violence to a remarkable degree, doctor. It happened just before we ran out of socks. Socks? It helps him to be happy if he can learn. Socks? Now, if we can just crack this speech problem... What are you talking about socks? I could be working on something for him during Christmas. Socks. All I want is for you to look in his mouth now. Where is he? There you go. All right. Okay, open your mouth. Come on, hey, open your mouth. No problem with his palate, and from what I can see, there's nothing wrong with his tongue. Say something. Please, say something. Will you tell him to say something? He won't talk. Hasn't talked in weeks, except into a microphone. All right, children, you were pleased to sit down. Come, children, sit down. Come. But listen to the direct talk about their school. Children, before you open the Christmas gifts, I wanted to wish you all the wonderful things you wanted for the new year. Now, don't forget us during these two weeks' vacation. And most of all, don't forget all the things we learned. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let's hear a big cheer for the director! Yay! And now, dear children, we will be getting these wonderful presents. When we call your name, you will go to the tree and take the box which has your name on it. First, Lewis. Good. This is a very good boy. Going away for Christmas? Florida. Mm, nice. You? My daughter's coming home. And my husband. How do you feel about that? Frightened. Oh, now, Brian. Come with me, Brian. Yeah, Brian, good that is for you. You read your name. Very excellent. Good. That's good, Mary. Mary, no. Come and get your Christmas present. Good boy. But what for you need with that old blanket? Would you not rather have a beautiful little doll like yourself? understand. They're shoved into schools with ostensibly normal children, and then... <laughs> What's the matter? 
Have I reached the point where I can talk about nothing but that damn school? I don't know. It's very interesting, Mary. I can understand why you like it so much. I promised Janice that we'd drop by for a drink later, if you wanted to. Liz going? No, she has plans of her own. Why don't we do what we're here for? I'm not sure I know what that is, Larry. Well, I think it's a good time to discuss things. All right. I have a confession to make. Go on. When I saw you, I realized that I missed you. I want a divorce, Mary. A divorce? If we're gonna kill it, let's be merciful and kill it fast. By summer, you can fly down to Mexico and pick up the divorce. As for Liz, wherever she wants to live when she's out of school is all right with me. I'll set up the preliminaries with my lawyer. You found someone? Yes. Well, the first thing is to burn your bridges quickly. There's less pollution that way. House is up for sale. I've moved into an apartment. And at the end of the school term, a quick but legal Mexican divorce. I see. Next order of business. I want to become a full-time teacher here. I'd like you to. Thank you. What are the requirements? At the moment, a propensity toward masochism. <laughs> Next year, a master's, which you already have, and a certification in special education. It would mean a few courses for you. Going to school at night, you could do it easily. Why the new standards? We are going to be approved by the state. Which means money, money! That means new equipment and a larger staff. Any teacher who doesn't have the requirements, but does have the experience, can stay on if she passes the examination. That's great. Can I come every day from now on? Sure. If it's all right with Helga. Oh, I'm sure. Helga. Yes, they want me to go back to school. An old woman like me. I mean, what can they teach me, huh? What do I need with their fancy courses, with their, their method teaching, visual aids, curriculum planning? It is a waste. They can keep their lousy courses. The professors they say in fancy language, but I already know, or else they speak foolishness that is best to never heard. But where will you go? What will the children do without you? Oh, there are plenty of sick children in this world. At the end of this term, they will go to a regular school. Some of them. Have you wet your pants again? Oh, yes, you have. Come, I change you. Helga, yeah? maybe we can swap. Yeah? Maybe I can teach you this time. The things I learn at school. At night, you could memorize them. Memorize? Not even in German. Yeah, well, it's so easy to get rid of you. We try. Come on, I change you. What were you making the pants all the time, huh? Unquestionably, the most discussed is the area of infantile development. It also reveals the chasm between the bridges. Chasm? What? What's the mean chasm? Uh, difference. Disagreement. Uh. Maybe I can put it in simpler language for you. In the, in the test, it will be in simple language or all like this? Well, let's go on and see what happens. Although the substantive content... These professors, they know that in our class, Chris still makes in the pan. Helga. When they got a chasm, it will teach him how not to make in the pan? Look, let's try something else. Tomorrow morning, I'll put everything on the tape recorder for you. Maybe if you hear it over and over again. Maybe. Testing. One, two, one, two. Testing. One, two, 
One, two. All right, Helga, this is chapter five. Although theorists differ radically among behaviorists, there is universal agreement that the quality of education for the autistic or schizophrenic child is far below the average. And now for the big win, chance to win a brand new water strider with super speed extractors. Are you ready? The question is, how many miles from the Earth to the moon? Now you have 60 seconds to answer, and if you are correct, you'll win. The prizes we have already mentioned. Are you ready? The question is, how many miles from the Earth to the moon? Now you have 60 seconds to answer, and if you are correct, you'll win. The prizes we have already mentioned. The water bottle with super speed extractors. Are you ready? If you are correct, you'll win. The prizes we have already mentioned. No, Brian, that is not it. This kid can talk. He wants to talk. Hey, I've got an idea. He loves game shows. He watches them from the moment he gets home. So? Brian, I am a contestant, and I cannot understand the question. Because you're speaking too fast. Slow it down. I want to win the washer-dryer with super-speed extractors, but I cannot understand the question. Dear children, with the new mommies from the States, they have to use their books or to learn together a new way. You see here? The chalk tray is lined with letters. Alphabet. A to Z. Alphabet. A, B, C. On the cards. Now, when I ask you to bring to me a letter, you will bring to me a letter what I ask for. Do you understand? Let's see now. I will make a D on the board, a big one, see? Straight line on the a stomach. <laughs> yeah? Okay, sweethearts? A D. Now, Ellen, 
you come and pick out a D from the cart. Go, Shirley. the board. Pick out one from the cards that looks the same. Yeah. Okay, sweethearts. We forget about the book. Ellen Schoener, I know you are smart. And I bet you you like gumdrops. Huh? I bet you a hundred million gumdrops that you can pick out a D. You know how? You walk along the ledge with your finger and you start at A. Go, do what I say. A. B. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, good, she picked a D. All by herself she picked a D. And she gets to keep the cart with D on it. Very good, darling, you did very good. I watched her reach right through that little girl's fear. She didn't care whether Ellen would remember the D. She made her commit to a choice. Got rid of her fear. Ah, oh, Dan. I've learned more from her in three minutes than I have in all the courses these past few months. And you know what she's doing? Consciously, very consciously, she's pointing everything in my direction. At first, I thought she was telling me that well, she knows more than any old professor, but that's not it. She's teaching me, Dan, as quickly as she can. Dan, they can't get rid of her. Yes, they can. Hi, sweetheart. Up we go. You ready, Dan? Yep. All right, kinder. Come, no more spieling now. Come and listen. Dan has an announcement to make for all of us. All right, folks, large and small. See if you can follow the revolving ball. Which hand is it in? And the winning contestant. Good, well, Ryan, I work alone. Okay, hear ye, hear ye. This Saturday is the first of our annual non-holiday overnight outings. Let's hear it for Dan. Oh. Oh. Good, good cheers, Kinder. <laughs> This Saturday at 9 of the a.m., we will gather in the parking lot carrying our sandwiches in wax paper, our notes of permission, our bathing suits. Hey. Oh, that's right, I said bathing suits. After which we will depart in Dan's super duper tent toting traveler. How many of you can say that? Super duper tent toting traveler. Super duper tent toting traveler. Otherwise known as the old school bus. We will camp under the stars to the tune of guitars, but first, shopping! Yes. Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Oh, sorry. Come on. Come on, Brian. Into the school. Oh, I need That's to the way, children. Up we go, up we go. Hey, you and me, we go to a movie. Okay, sweetheart? You cannot sleep out when you're making the pants. You'll catch pneumonia. $95.95. What? Thank you. 
can see it's lovely. taught Brian to eat? I mean, the way I just took for granted that he knew how? Yeah. Well, is it possible that Chris wets himself because no one's ever shown him how? I'm sorry, Helga. I just thought it was worth a try. Mary, there are some things a man can do better simply because he is a man. Zip up there, champ. <laughs> oh. And here we go. Let's go. Our Let's chance go. for the big roundup. Come on, darling. Have a good time, let's see. Oh, 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 have a good time, darling. Get good care, isn't it? Bye, bye, darling. Bye, Helga. Chris, wait a minute. Chris, where are you going? Chris, where are you going? No, 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 Shana. You must go without me, yeah? He must go without me. Here you go. Okay, everybody. Here we go. you about what well, the board is concerned about accidents lawsuits if you wish you see we've uh, we've never had emotionally disturbed children here before if, uh, if that's the proper term yes we'll be especially careful mrs grady because we want to make the swim a bi-monthly thing you see it puts the kids in a new environment teaches them a new skill it will make the hot summers bearable if they can learn to swim. Uh, do they have their own towels? Why, no, don't you supply them? Well, usually uh, we... Uh... Mrs. Grady, these children aren't diseased. What's wrong with them cannot be transmitted through the use of a towel. Yes, of course. We'll supply the towels. Thank you. And I assure you there will be absolutely no problem. Very quick. Lewis is running naked through the locker room. Well, grab him. Girls' locker room. Come on. Come on, you guys. In the pool. Wait. Hold it. Hold it. We sure are. And we're both girls. <laughs> okay. Now, we don't expect you to know how to swim right away. We know that most of you have never even been in a swimming pool, right? Well, it's just like your bathtub, only it's for fun. You don't have to get clean, right? <laughs> now, everybody just jump in and have a good time. It's shallow. On your mark, ready, set. Come on, it's not very deep. Look, it's only up to here on me. Don't be afraid, I'll catch you. Lewis. Harry, come on. Jenny. All right, you guys. Everybody, let's go! <laughs> What's the matter with you? It's only water. You know what water's for, don't you? Don't you? Splashing. It's oh. all. Splashing. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Come on, 
Jenny. Come on. That's a girl. Good. Yeah. Hold on to the edge down here, down below. That's a girl. Got it? You can stand here. Ellen. Come on, girl. Good girl. Hold on there. Come on, Rachel. Hey! Oh, good girl! All right. That's fun. Hey, men, you're making me look bad. Is there not one future male chauvinist who will come to my defense? <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> you? Uh-huh. You seem to have adjusted very well. To what? The joys of living alone. Uh, well, it's... It's different from talking about it, that's for sure. <laughs> you, um... You have a lover? Nope. Why not? I'm not very good at that sort of thing. Aren't you? What about your life? Same old thing. Series of one-night stands. Hmm? Why, Dan? Fear, child. Fear. What are you afraid of? Them. I love these kids. But if one of them belonged to me, I won't take that chance. You understand? I think so. I... Dan. Chris. Chris? Chris? Have you seen Chris? He's gone. Are you asleep? Chris? Can you hear me, Chris? Chris? Did anyone see Chris leave? He couldn't have gone very far. Oh, boy, for a kid who's afraid of the dark. All right, all together now. Let's all of us call out for Chris as loud as we can. Right. Not all of us can talk. All right, those who can. All together. Ready? Chris! 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 Chris, if you can hear me, please. He can't talk either. Miss, he probably can't get very far. Hours. He's been gone for hours. You got your shoes on backwards, son. Your left shoe's on your right foot, and your right shoe's on your left. <laughs> he likes it that way. Why, Dan? Why would he run away? Maybe he reads Helga as well as she reads him. She won't be back next fall. Maybe he knows he won't be either. Dan. No sign of him. We'll have to wait until it gets light and call a chopper. Sorry. In the meantime, I think we better get the rest of these kids back to town. Yeah, I guess you're right. Chris! Hey, Chris! Chris, how many steps is this from the play show to the campfire? Hey, kid, get off that car! Officer, Office, wait, please. Chris! You're the contestant for the final question. I repeat, the question is, how many steps from the play show to the campfire? If you give us the right number, you will receive six billion bags of jelly beans, a brand new sports car with air conditioning and bucket seats. So whenever you're ready, Chris, come on down. Take your time, number one contestant. Take your time. And when you think you have the answer, step out and head for the wooing red light and claim your prize. And now, for the next 30 seconds, we will have music as you make up your mind. Music, maestro, please. <laughs> Everybody! 
Just let it happen, Brian. You were going to your father's. Oh, I did. He's fine. He sent his love. Oh? I saw her. She's like you. She looks like you. Crazy, huh? Crazy. Can I come in? Oh, sure. <laughs> And now, mein schönen Kinder, we will have the last circle of the year. And soon we will go to vacation land, some of us. And others will stay at home and have a time that will be better than excellent. Then, in the fall, you will come back here to learn more from your old teachers. Some old. Some new. And between, some of you will be here for the summer. Dear children. Well, let's hear a, a big cheer for a wonderful year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now we will sing a beautiful song for Helga. Loud and clear. Yeah. in the pump. Big boy, yeah. Big boy, yeah. You know that I will not be back, yeah? yeah? And you know that you will not be back here. Well, it is a good thing, I think. You know this? It changes very good for everyone, you know? No, it's true. Your new school, well, it is not the same kind of place like this. It is a place where you will live, you see. But they have a school. You try to learn, yeah? Goodbye, Chris. Goodbye, Shiva.
Goodbye, Mary. Goodbye, Helga. Goodbye. You will be a good teacher, Mary. Just watch out for the lousy volunteers. You drink? No, not really. I suggest to you this is one hell of a good time to start. Is she gone? Yes. She didn't say goodbye. I didn't expect it. She'll find another job. They need her here. They need her everywhere. Then why did you let her go? Because we couldn't get funded if she stayed. To hell with the funding. The children that matter. You're damned right. And you know why? Because long after Helga is dead, there'll be new kids coming to this school. And it'll be bigger and better. And there'll be new teachers. Some of them good, some of them bad. And maybe one of them will be as great as Helga. Maybe it'll be you. And then when you go, perhaps you would have trained another Helga. Or another you. I don't know. I guess I'm still a little bit afraid. And what? Oh, afraid that I need her as much as the kids do. Well, you'll find out soon enough. You want to teach summer school? I haven't thought about it. Well, think about it. It's on a more relaxed basis, get you ready for the fall. You'll meet some of the new students and teachers. Okay. When does it start? Can you get your divorce by the 20th? I think so. Hope so. We start the 21st. Hey, McCrack and Mrs. Hello, Dan. I'm going to teach summer school. Yeah, I know. Doris told me. When? Yesterday. Why, that? <laughs> hey, Dan, how about you? I mean, together we... There's, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Uh, when I went to Florida, Christmas, remember? Well, there's a school down there run by an old man named Burmeister. It's for emotionally disturbed adolescents. There aren't many schools for kids that age, and he's getting on a bit, and he wants me to run it for him. Why didn't you tell me this before? Oh, good. There's nothing certain about it. I mean, I'd spend the summer down there and see how I like it. Oh, Dan. You can handle it. Can I? Sure. All the same, I wish you weren't going. It's too close here, Mary. This is too close. You and me and the kids. Hell, we were turning into a family. Uh, 
I was told downstairs, I registered him. She said that you would be his teacher this summer and you want to see him. Stop it! Stop it! What's your name? It, it's Stephen. He, he can't talk. You can't talk, Stephen? I'll bet you can. I'll bet you will. You will talk for Mary. <laughs> yeah. You will talk, Shonakin. Even better than excellent. In our circle of children, Children look like you and me, but our circle of children isn't what it seems to be. Nothing's really what it seems. See, our circle of children smiling at forgotten. 